The Artemis II astronauts check out their ride to the moon, practicing post-splashdown recovery operations for Artemis II, and the Webb Space Telescope checks out a record-breaking star. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On August 8th, the Artemis II astronauts visited our Kennedy Space Center to check out the Orion spacecraft that will carry them around the moon and back. They also participated in a news conference with NASA leadership to discuss Artemis II and how it will help pave the way for future long-term human exploration missions to the moon and eventually to Mars. The measure of success for Artemis II is seeing our colleagues on the lunar surface, seeing our colleagues assembling Gateway, and then seeing people that are following in our footsteps walking on Mars and coming back to planet Earth. Artemis II will be the first mission with astronauts to the moon in more than 50 years. Teams from NASA and the Department of Defense recently completed underway recovery test 10 off the coast of San Diego. They practiced operational activities that will be used to safely retrieve the Artemis II astronauts and Orion spacecraft from the Pacific Ocean at the end of the mission. The approximately 10-day flight will be the first Artemis mission to send astronauts around the moon and return them safely to Earth. Our James Webb Space Telescope followed up on the Hubble Space Telescope's observations of Arendelle the farthest star ever detected in the very distant universe within the first billion years after the Big Bang. Webb's near-infrared camera revealed that the massive star is more than twice as hot as our sun and about a million times more luminous. Astronomers also think that based solely on the colors of Arendelle, it might have a cooler, redder companion star. This October, NASA will launch the Heliophysics Big Year, a global celebration of solar science and the sun's influence on Earth and the entire solar system. We will celebrate a theme each month from October 2023 to December 2024 and share opportunities to participate in solar science events like observing solar eclipses or other fun sun-related activities. Learn more at go.nasa.gov slash heliobigyear. That's what's up this week at NASA.